Although some students say Kyle Village is a good fit for them, new blog host Angelica Bracken says some of its promises fell short. It's a brand new year here at USC, and this year also marks the much-anticipated grand opening of Kyle Village. Now, I remember last year when USC was eagerly, and frantically I might add, trying to fill the village. They used the phrase, get a room, to entice students because the list of residents was embarrassingly small. Then they used bribes such as free tanning booths, a movie theater, and Starbucks coffee. I myself stumbled into the wrong door of Pilot Village one day to meet a friend and immediately felt like I was checking into the Holiday Inn. Not to mention it smelled like a pool. Let's talk about the suites. I do have to hand it to USC. The suites are pretty nice. Downside? The rooms are pretty small. Also, a transfer student named Austin says the suites are too spread apart and he felt like he wasn't meeting anyone. At the end of it all, I also discovered that one, they threw out the tanning booth idea a long time ago. Two, the movie theater is a lot smaller than I pictured. And three, there's no Starbucks, just Starbucks style coffee. In other words, they lied. However, they made up for it by putting flat screens in every suite. But for about $600 a month per person, I would want at least two flat screens. For you blog, I'm Angelica Bracken. Thanks, Angelica.